Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Cecily and welcome to my kitchen. Today I have an amazing recipe for you, vegetable pot pie. This is a great one, so stay tuned and we'll get started on those ingredients. Okay, so for the flaky buttery crust, we're going to need some salt, sugar, butter, ice cold water, and flour. So the next thing we're going to do is cube our cold butter and you're going to want to work really fast for this part. You don't want your butter to melt or become room temperature. Cold butter is what's going to make your crust flaky and that's what we want. Now that you have your butter cubed, to your flour go ahead and add your salt and your sugar and mix with a whisk. And again, this is a process where we're going to want to move very quickly. Add in your butter and we're going to start mixing with a dough mixer. You can also make this crust in a food processor. It would probably be be a lot easier and faster but if you have a dough mixer like this this is perfectly fine to use it'll just take an extra couple minutes okay so once you have your butter combined with your flour this is what you want it to look like you want to see little pebbles of butter everywhere. That's what's going to make this crust super delicious. And to the bowl, I'm going to start off with a quarter cup of cold water. You might have to use more depending on how well it comes together. For the rest of this process, you'll see me, I'll use an extra two to three tablespoons of ice cold water just to get the dough to come together. Now you're going to dump your dough onto a surface or your cutting board or your countertop and you're going to want to knead this for just a few minutes. Again, you don't want to melt your butter. You don't want to make this dough hot. We want it to keep it nice and cold so it becomes flaky once we bake it. Here you can see, like I said, I started off with a quarter cup of ice cold water and I am adding two to three extra tablespoons just for it to come together. Once you form your dough ball, you're going to wrap this in plastic and set it in the fridge. Let's get started on our vegetables. I'm going to be using two stalks of celery that I will dice pretty fine. Also going to use a half of a yellow onion and dice that fine as well. So for my recipe, I'm going to be using some brown mushrooms and potatoes, as well as some mixed veggies. You can use any vegetables that you like. Get creative with your pot pie. This would taste super delicious with sweet potatoes as well. But yes, this is a vegetable pot pie, so use whatever you like. Use whatever you have in your fridge. 
get creative and have fun with this recipe. Okay, so to your pan, you're going to start off with three tablespoons of butter. Add in your celery and onions, and you're going to cook this for just a few minutes. We do not want to brown them. We just want to sweat them a little bit. And then we're going to add in the rest of our vegetables. Okay, once your onions and celery have cooked for a few minutes, you're going to add in your potatoes. We're only going to cook these for just a few minutes. Again, this is going into the oven, so they will finish cooking in there. So let these cook for just a few minutes. Then we are going to add our mushrooms. We'll cook those down for just a few minutes. Next, you're going to add a few tablespoons of flour, and this is what's going to make our delicious, rich sauce for our pot pie. And you'll want to cook the flour for a few minutes so you can cook out that raw flour taste. Okay, and then we're going to add in chicken broth, or you can use vegetable broth. I have chicken, so that's what I'm using. I will have the measurements for this down in the description box, but I'm using about two cups of chicken broth here. And then I will add in a cup of milk. I'm using almond, um, but you can use any milk that you're comfortable with. Okay, now we can start with our seasonings. I'm going to add a pinch of black pepper, or a lot of black pepper. We love black pepper. Some dried parsley, if you had fresh, that would be awesome as well. Also going to add in some Italian seasoning. And for your salt, you can add regular salt. I'm going to use a chicken bouillon, or you can use a vegetable one. Once that is all combined, I'm going to add in about a cup and a half of frozen mixed vegetables. And at this point, you can turn the heat off of your pan. The vegetables will continue to cook as soon as we get them into the oven. Look how delicious that looks. Mm. Okay, now we're going to roll out our dough. Make sure you flour your surface and your rolling pin. And this part doesn't have to be perfect. I love a rustic looking crust. So I'm just gonna try to get this as round as possible to fit the pan. And you can see there are all those little pats of butter. And that's what's going to create a very nice crusty, flaky crust. Just go ahead and lay your crust right over your pan and there's a few different things you can do here you can tuck your crust in or fold it over you can cut off the side so it fits the pan whatever you choose to do I'm just going to fold in the edges here and press them down and then you're gonna get a egg wash so one egg and a little bit of water and you're gonna brush this on the top and that's what's gonna give you that shiny beautiful crust when it comes out the oven Make sure to put in a few slits so the steam can vent. And this is going into the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes or until your crust is golden brown. And here's the finished product, piping hot right out of the oven. I cannot tell you guys how delicious and easy this pot pie was. Please give it a try. If you enjoyed today's recipe, let me know down in the comments below. 
please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye.